Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to cover the different programs in the MPC Studio software. There are four main programs. There are MIDI programs, key group programs, plug-in programs, and drum programs. All right. So I've got the software screen loaded up. I'm going to do a couple of things just to show you how the differences work and we'll take it from there. Let's begin. All right, first we have drum programs. If you look to the left of the screen, you'll see that the MPC program has loaded up four drum programs on the left. You've got standard, power, funk, and perk. All right, so we're gonna load up the standard drum program. Also, keep in mind that the MPC program denotes a drum program with this four square looking thing right next to the letters. All right. So just by double clicking, we've loaded up the drum program onto our channel. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so as you can tell, we've got a couple different drums loaded up. So let's take a look at the channel next to it to see how things differ. Right here, you see we have a drum program loaded. We have the name and we can click plus buttons to add more programs, but what makes it a program? Well, anytime in the MPC software that you drag drums into a new uh, track or a new channel, you're pretty much going to have to create a program to go along with it. That's the basis of the entire software, sequences and programs. Anytime you program the drums, you're creating a sequence. Now, anytime you want to change the groove of the drums, you have to create a new sequence, but you can use the same program if that makes sense. The program is what houses your samples. That's pretty much the difference at the end of the day. So. This is a basic drum program, but let's show you how a plug-in program differs from that. Let's say you have something like Contact or um, a Native Instrument Sound, Omnisphere, anything of the sort, a BST program where you use your synth sounds, all right? Let's take a hybrid, for example, for a Kai. Let's take a look at that. All right, notice when a plug-in is selected as a program. First of all, you have to go down here to change it from drum to plug-in. All right. Notice we have our four different types of programs right there. Instead of doing drum, where you get the regular screen with the empty cells so that you can load your sounds up. Instead, I go to plug-in. Now I have a full keyboard and it says plug in one. Now if we look to the right of the screen where my mouse is, we see I have a couple of different programs already in the program loaded. All right, we have program one, FM8, which is a plug-in, and notice that the symbol next to it changed. We have a MIDI program and the corresponding symbol to, symbol to that a key group program, and the last program are our MPC drums, all right? So let's look at this program that's for plugins for a second and see how that works. All right, we have a plugin called FM8 loaded. If I want to expand it, I simply click on this E looking button right next to it. Now my plugin's expanded. I can choose a sound, load it up and play. But let's say I don't want to use that plugin. I want to use another plugin. All right. But I still want to keep FM8 for later just in case. Simple. I'll go right next to FM001, which is the default name of the program, and I press the plus symbol. So now I've created a new plugin program, and you'll see that it appeared to the right of the screen. Let's say I want to load hybrid that comes with the Akai software.
All right, notice hybrid appeared, and its default name is hybrid 3002, with the 002 denoting that this is our second plugin program. You can edit these names if you want to by double clicking inside and typing in a new program. Let me show you how to do that now. There, so I changed the name of the program to something nonsensical, but you can give it any type of name you want. So that's our second plugin program. All right, let's expand it. There, now from there we can choose the sound we want. And it plays up and down the keyboard, especially effective if you have an external MIDI keyboard that you're using already. Or you can use the pads on your drum machine as normal. Alright, so now that we've covered plugins, let's move on to the next one. Here we have MIDI programs. Now, fair warning, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about MIDI programs because I'm going to cover that in another video. Akai does something really cool in the MPC software where if you look at the symbol at the top, right where my mouse is next to, that's for audio and MIDI clips where if I have drums sequenced, what I can do is click that button and it'll either turn it into an audio file that I can drag into another full DAW or I can turn it into a MIDI clip and I can just save it to my desktop or again, drag it into a DAW like Logic or Pro Tools and as long as I have the same drums loaded up in the DAW, it works just the same. Really cool feature, but this is basically how MIDI programs look. You get the same keyboard feature. The uh, drum pads look a little different because they correspond with the MIDI notes you're playing, whether you're dragging in MIDI from another program or from a previous project, that type of thing. Uh, the edit screen looks a little different too. So this is how the program edit screen looks on a MIDI program. Slightly different, but again, we'll cover that in another video. Finally, as you can see, we have key group programs. So with key groups, very simple concept, right? Say if one of the drums in my drum program from earlier, I wanna play it up and down the keyboard. Like I have an 808 drum that I need to scale out so I can play it properly and make sure it's tuned, but I don't wanna use the 16 level button or anything like that. Very simple. I take that same sample and I load it into a key group program. And you see this keyboard here, really funky stuff. Let me show you how. All right, for instructional purposes, I'm just gonna take this tom drum and show you how it works. Hmm. All right, notice I can't drag the sample over. Not to worry. We're gonna go to the program edit screen. For layer one, you go down to the drum that you want to select. Our tom drum is now selected. Now notice it scaled that drum all the way up and down the keyboard. And that's pretty much it. So you can do the same thing with the drum of your choice or maybe an external synth sound that you've got from like a drum pack or what have you, and then scale it. And that way you don't have to rely on your MPC or whatever type of drum machine you have connected to make sure that your drums are in tune. You can actually do it yourself, use your ear, do some fine tuning, that type of thing. And my man and my woman, you will be good to go. And that friends is basically it. Those are the four type of key groups. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. I'll let the team know what's up, and we'll get back to you ASAP. Don't forget to tune in next week. Drum Machine Addicts back again. Please subscribe to the newsletter for more content, and be on the lookout for the website. Peace.